Coverage is so important in when painting. It saves labor costs, which is 85% of the cost of a job. Knowing what Sherman Williams white summit gloss covers the best can save you time and obviously some money. So that's what this is about. We're gonna take a look at Promar 200, Super Paint, Duration, Cashmere, Pro Classic, Emerald, and Emerald Urethane to see which one covers the best. Let's get started. Before we jump into this interesting experiment, just FYI, we are franchising. Kleppenberger & Son is franchising across the country. If you'd like more information, it's right there below. And also, if you like this video, please give us a like. Okay, so I put these seven different Sherwin-Williams White Summit Glosses on three different backgrounds and had judges who did not know what the grade of paint was evaluate the coverage from best to worst. Who were the judges? One was a sales rep from Sherwin-Williams, one was the manager's sales rep, and one was a sniper for the Secret Service, and one was my 15-year-old nephew who was very enthusiastic, has a great set of eyes, smart kid, really took this, this seriously, and he evaluated them as well. So, let's take a look at the results. The duration uh, got a pretty darn good score. It came in fifth place, but then it came in second place, second place, and second place for an overall score of 11 points. You get five points for a fifth place and two points for a second place. You add them up, five plus two plus two plus two is 11. We'll be doing that throughout. I won't do the math for you because I know you can handle this. Uh, the cashmere, overwhelmingly, everybody said the cashmere covers the best. Everybody gave it a first place, so out of the four judges, it got four points. The Promar 200 got a six, a six, a seven, and a four for a score of 23 points. Uh, the, the Super Paint was in the middle of the pack. It got a fourth place, a fourth place, and a fifth place, and a fifth place. So pretty much consistently in the middle, maybe a little on the bottom middle. The Pro Classic actually did very nice. It got a third place, a third place, a third place, and a sixth place, coming in third place with a total of 15 points. The Emerald Semi-Gloss, we're talking about a $90 gallon of paint, did not do so well. It got sixth place, fourth place, sixth place, fourth place. And let me just say, there's really not that much difference between a fourth place and a sixth place. These, these can really be interchanged quite easily. So that's why you see fours and sixes and fives all over the place. And then the Emerald Urethane, this talk about all over the place. It got a fifth, a second, a fourth, and a seventh, but I think it's pretty safe to say as we look around at these other colors that the emerald urethane is always finishing in the bottom of the heap. It doesn't mean it's a bad paint, it just means it's just not a good covering paint. Taking a look at our second color is a kind of a medium dark gray primer, and we put two coats on all on this side of the seven paints and one coat on this side. And if I had to just quickly tell you which ones I think perform the best on one coat, it would be the cashmere. Maybe the emerald and the pro classic came in second place. Um, easily just, just be able to say that the Promar 200 and the emerald urethane both had the worst coverage. Doesn't mean they're a bad paint, just means that if you're looking for coverage, these aren't the paints you wanna buy. So uh, the judges scored pro classic as overall number one with two coats, cashmere second place, a three-way tie between Super Paint, Dura Duration, and Emerald Semi-Gloss for third place. The next one was the Emerald Urethane, which came in second to last, with Promark coming in last place. Taking a look at the seven white semi-glosses with a mid-tone tan background. This is one coat on this side, and this is two coats over on this side. This little spot right here does have two coats on it, so try to ignore that. Coming in first place, the best coverage by four judges agreed that Emerald Semi-Gloss was number one. It had a total of seven points, a couple first place votes, a couple second place votes, very good. Cashmere, second place. It's got a first place and now two second place finishes. Just has a really good coverage to it. The Pro Classic, 
with 15 points, just two more than the Cashmere. The Pro Classic getting some thirds, some fifths, and some second place votes did very, very well. For the first time, Emerald Urethane wasn't in the six or seven spot. It comes in at fourth place, and for the first time, Promark 200 finished outside of the six or seven spot of, as well. It, though it did have 26 total points, a couple people thought that this covered the worst. A couple people thought it was in the middle of the pack. The duration, however, was the worst. But before I get to the duration, let me just say the Super Paint came in sixth place. I thought this Super Paint did very well on one coat coverage, but didn't quite get the job done with the second coat, surprisingly. The duration didn't do a very good job on the first coat or the second coat. So says my eyes, and so says the judges. The judges gave it 7th place, 7th place, 7th place, 6th place, and 5th. Never, no one thought that this paint duration covered very well. Let's see if we can make some summations of what Sherwin-Williams semi-gloss white paint covers the best over these different backgrounds. And I think it's fair to say that the Cashmere Medium Luster, which is a little bit shinier than most semi-glosses, all of them, more shiny than all of Sharon Williams on my glosses, had the best coverage. It, just, it came in a first place and a couple second places. Very good job. The Pro Classic, it probably would be my choice for second place. It got a first place and a couple third places. Did very well. Never really got poor scores ever by any judge. The third, fourth, and fifth place, it's, just, it's, there, it's all too close to tell. The Super Paint, the Duration, and the Emerald Semi-Gloss, it's all about equal in their coverage. The Emerald Urethane covered worse than those other three, and the Promar 200 even below that. I'm not surprised about the Promar 200. I'm a little surprised about the Emerald Urethane. I would have hoped that that would have given you better coverage since it is their premium semi-gloss, period. I hope you found this interesting. Before you leave, I'm going to be doing the same test with Benjamin Moore and Pittsburgh, and then we're going to have a competition between which number one cat, you know, Sherwin Williams goes against number one Ben Moore. So if you like this kind of stuff, you find this interesting, go ahead and subscribe, and we will, you'll stay in the loop on who really has the ultimate white semi gloss. Thanks.